In sci-fi movies, nobody just goes on the regular internet. According to sci-fi, in the future, the internet will be something that you can walk around in. Everything will be virtual reality, and you'll be able to walk right up to that thing you want to buy with your digital avatar. Is this just a cyberpunk fantasy, or is this something that's actually going to happen? Facebook and the Metaverse Mark Zuckerberg seems to think that this could really become a reality. He's been talking about this sci-fi trope, usually called the metaverse, a lot recently. Zuckerberg, of course, has a lot of issues on his plate. Some politicians are calling for Facebook to be broken up with new antitrust legislation. Others have criticized the website's moderation policies and its tendency to spread disinformation. The extreme negative effects of social media on people's mental health has also become a hot topic of conversation, particularly thanks to the popular Netflix documentary, The Social Dilemma. Nevertheless, Zuckerberg seems to have ambitious plans. The idea of the metaverse is to create something similar to the internet, only you won't access the metaverse with a keyboard and your fingertips. You'll access the metaverse via some sort of virtual reality device. Instead of looking at your coworkers' faces in little squares on Zoom, it'll be like you're really in the room with them. You'll all be in the same simulation. After your meeting, you can all virtually walk to a virtual restaurant. Or maybe you can get on a virtual plane and fly to whatever battle royale game the kids are playing these days. Zuckerberg seems to be completely serious about making this happen. He's said that he wants to turn Facebook into a metaverse company, and that he's been thinking about this since middle school. Facebook recently announced the creation of a metaverse product group, and Zuckerberg has said he sees this as being the successor to the mobile internet. Other big names and the metaverse. He's not the only one interested in making sci-fi visions of the future into real life. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has said that they're working on a similar project. Epic Games, the creators of a little thing you might know about called Fortnite, has made similar comments. They're putting a billion dollars of funding towards metaverse development. In June, venture capitalist Matthew Ball launched an exchange-traded fund so that people can invest in the metaverse. Graphics chipmaker NVIDIA and Roblox are also involved. Now these are some of the big names and some big hype has been generated. However, Nobody really knows if this will work out. The metaverse is most likely years and billions of dollars of funding and research away. And that's if it even happens at all. Investments in virtual reality have yet to pay off. VR is the closest thing we have to the metaverse right now, and it hasn't gained broad commercial appeal. The technology simply isn't there yet. Most customers just don't have a whole lot of room to dedicate to VR, and it's currently clunky and time-consuming to set up and take down. Not to mention the fact that most people don't have computers powerful enough to run it. The big companies like Facebook and Microsoft who are getting involved in this might just be trying to tell investors that they won't miss out on something that could be the next big something. In the case of Facebook, this could also just be a way of distracting investors from their laundry list of problems. The Origins of the Metaverse Whatever the reasons for this are, there are still some tough questions. For instance, is this something that people actually want and would pay for? Is there a market for living your life inside of a virtual simulation controlled by Mark Zuckerberg? If anything, it's possible that the pandemic has made people value real-world interaction more. Avi Barzev, who has worked at Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft, is the founder of Reality Prime, a VR company. He's wondered about the metaverse, saying, My biggest concern about the metaverse is, are we ready? This is certainly a valid question. The term metaverse comes from the 1992 cyberpunk book Snow Crash. In the book, a hacker named Hero Protagonist frequently visits the metaverse. Yes, his name really is Hero Protagonist. Cyberpunk used to be a lot cheesier than it is now. Uh, the book also features a man with a nuclear bomb in his motorcycle sidecar and a pizza chain with a private military. The cyberpunk genre was born out of a sense of skepticism towards technology and corporations. So there's a certain irony to the fact that Zuckerberg is now embracing the term metaverse. 
What would a metaverse look like? A good sign that we're probably still far away from having a metaverse is that nobody can quite agree on what the metaverse actually could be. There are a few key things which most people agree on, however. A metaverse would include some sort of presence for users. When you go on Twitter, you're not actually there. You're just looking at words on a screen. In a metaverse, you would actually be talking to people. You'll be seeing them in first person, like a video game. A metaverse could host many users who could all interact with each other in real time. In all likelihood, the metaverse wouldn't be a single technology that just gets switched on overnight. Like the current internet, it would probably be something built slowly over time by a bunch of different companies using various technologies. The dream would be to have all these parts connected to each other, like the internet. Jesse Alton, founder of the VR company Angel IXR, has said this about the metaverse. Someone who's playing a video game could win a flaming sword if their favorite game on Xbox put it in their inventory. And later in VR, they can show it to a friend and their friend can hold it. It's the ability to transport information from one world to another, regardless of which platform it's in. So why are people suddenly talking about the metaverse? Well, the metaverse is a nearly 30-year-old idea that gets brought up every few years. It gains momentum, there are articles about it, and then after a while it fades away when more immediate and achievable tech comes along. But there are some signs that this time could be different and the metaverse idea could have more staying power. The technology that would theoretically allow the metaverse to become a thing has come a long way. Major improvements in mobile device processing, gaming hardware, internet infrastructure, virtual reality headsets, and cryptocurrency are all things which could help a potential metaverse come into existence. It's also possible that the pandemic has made more people comfortable with virtual interactions, or at least more comfortable than they were before. Potential Metaverse Issues People in Silicon Valley who think the metaverse is on the horizon say that there's huge business potential. It could be an entirely new platform where you can sell digital goods and services. But others in Silicon Valley have raised concerns about how the metaverse would end up being used or exploited. Is it possible that the metaverse would essentially be the worst aspects of the internet combined with the worst aspects of reality? Let's say you get into an argument on Twitter later today. What does this involve? Ultimately, it's just you typing things on your computer and looking at words other people have typed. These words might be really mean. This hypothetical person might call you a dum-dum or even something worse, like a dingus. But you can just close the tab and leave any time. Now, what might this sort of interaction look like in the metaverse? It could be a three-dimensional person standing right in front of you, yelling at you. You might walk out of the Twitter metaverse discussion lounge, and they might follow you out the door, down the metaverse street, screeching at you about how your opinions are bad. Sound like a good time? Would the metaverse be more civil than the internet because you would have to be virtually face to face? Or would the metaverse essentially be the uncivility of the current internet on steroids? Nobody really knows. Furthermore, it's not entirely clear that everything the internet does right now would really be improved by a metaverse. Shopping in the metaverse, for instance, would actually be a regression. On the internet, you can buy something with one click. But in the metaverse, presumably, you would have to actually get up and walk to a virtual shelf. What would be the advantage of this? Other things, such as video games, obviously could be enhanced by a metaverse-type system. At the end of the day, Silicon Valley just doesn't know if the metaverse will take off or not.